Local food pantries gearing up, concerned the government shutdown could send them waves of people seeking assistance. Yeah, right now nearly 40 million people are depending on food stamps, but if the shutdown lasts until March, their benefits could be in jeopardy. NBC Charlotte's Brooke Katz here with the urgent plea for help. Yeah, Rachel and Bill, the concern goes beyond those relying on SNAP benefits. This would also affect children with free and reduced school lunches. Also programs like WIC, which gives nutrition assistance to pregnant women, mothers and babies. And of course, you have the hundreds of thousands of government employees who may not be getting that paycheck. That is why local food pantries say it is so important for you to donate if you can. The beginning of February is always our Super Bowl of food drives. And at Loaves and Fishes, Tina Postel says they're hoping for a Super Bowl sized turnout for their Scouting for Food drive. The nonprofit provides groceries for neighbors in need, and their biggest effort kicks off next month amid the uncertainty of the government shutdown. We are bracing for a possible dramatic increase in the number of people who need our services due to the government shutdown. 38 million Americans rely on food stamps. The program is only guaranteed funding through February. March, still up in the air. The same holds true for children on free and reduced lunches. If that programming get or that funding gets cut in any way, shape or form, some of those kids are going to have to pack lunches and might need to visit a loaves and fishes food pantry first so they have something to pack in those lunches. On top of that, government employees left without pay. People who have always been gainfully employed that suddenly find themselves still at work but working without a paycheck. And so in the interim, bills are still due. They have to pay rent and utilities, and so they have to make some tough choices. That's why Postel is urging anyone who can to give. And last year, the organization gave groceries to more than 75,000 people. 46% were children. At the end of the month, the Boy Scouts are going to be out in neighborhoods distributing those grocery bags. You can help out by filling those up and leaving them out for collection. You can also donate at Harris Teeter stores between February 2nd and the 10th. Bill and Rachel. Yeah, it's always such a good cause. Brooke, thank you.